this bike is amazing for the price and I don't quite know how Orbea did it. So Pink Bike calls this bike the most trail bike, trail bike ever. And I have to agree, the Occam is the epitome of a mountain bike. Probably one of the most balanced trail bikes that I've ridden in quite some time. Orbea just, they hit the numbers spot on for a trail bike. 140 millimeters travel front and rear, 29 inch wheels. The medium size has a 450 reach. It's got 440 chain stays that help keep the rear end pretty snappy. 66 degree head angle and a 77 degree seat angle put this bike in the sweet spot. Sure, not the slackest. It's not some enduro, plow everything, 160 millimeter travel bike, and it's not meant to be that. If you wanna go full enduro, they make the Rayon, which is their longer traveled bike, and that's just not what this bike is meant to be. This bike is meant to be a mountain bike that does everything for you. It climbs well, it descends well, corners extremely well. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Occam H30, which is the entry-level version of the Occam, where Orbea put together a crazy good spec for 2,600 bucks. This bike is amazing for the price, and I don't quite know how Orbea did it. The Occam uses Orbea's Advanced Dynamic Suspension System, which is Orbea's own design based around a concentric axle pivot. In use, I found it had real low leverage curve, which provides a real supple small bump compliance. While climbing, the pedal ball was kept to a minimal and not once did I feel the need to reach for the climb switch on the rear shock. While descending, I found that the leverage curve was a bit too linear and I prefer something that ramps up a bit more and is more progressive. You can always add volume spacers to the rear shock to make it ramp up more. And overall, I found that the rear suspension was really consistent and predictable. Orbea definitely nailed the suspension at this price point it tracks well and provided an ample support for even the most technical sections of trail. The Occam we have here with us today is the H30, which is the most affordable in the Occam lineup. It comes specced with an aluminum frame, which is beautifully shaped with tubes, and at first glance, you could almost mistake it for a carbon bike. The Marzocchi Z2 fork is based on a Fox Float 34 chassis, but with Marzocchi's less is more approach. Sure, the Z2 doesn't have 20 clicks of compression, but Marzocchi worked to get the damping spot on and then simplified the adjustments to make it a no-brainer. The performance of this fork proves that less can be more. For the drivetrain, Orbea chose Shimano's 12-speed SLX. This is composed primarily of Shimano SLX parts combined with some well-thought-out parts to help keep the cost down. A Sunrace 1151 12-tooth cassette allows them to spec wheels that didn't need Shimano microspine free hubs. This choice helps to keep the cost down while still giving you a 12-speed drivetrain. For the brakes, Orbea went with the Shimano MT201, which is a very entry-level brake, and while they do work, they don't work overly well. Another note was our bike came out of the box with contaminated pads. It was a quick and easy fix for us to get it back on the trail, but it was still frustrating. The one thing I will give Orbea is that they used 180 millimeter rotors on the front and the rear of this bike, but definitely the first thing I would change would be these brakes. They work, but not great for a bike that's specced this way. For the cockpit, Orbea chose to use their house brand dropper post, handlebar, and stem. These all worked really well, and they look good doing it. The bar and stem are 35 millimeters, so they're current popular size, and the dropper post was an 150 millimeter drop on a medium frame. The grips are slip-on, which were good for a few rides, but it's a great spot to upgrade sooner than later. The saddle was decently comfortable, but not really my style. All right, so what's the bottom line? Well, Orbea put together an amazing package for the price that they got it at. This Occam is a great platform for coming up from your first, maybe your hardtail to your first full suspension. Maybe this is your first or second full suspension that's your kind of real mountain bike, let's call it that. Uh, this is the perfect platform. This frame is an amazing platform to build on. You could upgrade this thing later on down the road. The way it comes though is perfect for what the price is. I mean, this is a $2,600 bike. This is amazing that Orbea was able to pack this much performance into this bike. I'm blown away. Good job, Orbea. And if you have any questions about this bike or any of the other Orbeas that we carry, give our gear advisors a call, man. They love to talk bikes. Thanks for watching and keep pedaling, guys.